Hi guys. Hi, Daddy. hi Josie, hi Jules. I made a seed necklace. Mmm, that's beautiful. Good morning everybody. Our cousins are here. Hi. Hey! Coral, what are y'all making? Bracelet. Ooh, I like got that. A tiger one. Let's see, Symphony, where's yours? What are you making? Ooh, that's pretty. I like it. And I'm gonna make a bracelet now. You are? It's gonna be black and white, like a bunny. Yeah, look, sure? there's a bunch more. Hello, camera. <laughs> Okay, let me see. How are you, camera? It's all tied up for you. Thank you. Alright guys, this is goodbye to the Yellow Submarine. Gonna miss this place. I feel like I was walking into a postcard every time I came up to it. Outside and inside. I mean, look, every time I saw Abram sitting there, I couldn't resist but take a photo. I feel like since we've had less money, we've had to buy more budget-friendly places to stay. I feel like we get a little more unique experiences. Hey! <laughs> Get out of there! Anyway, I was just saying that I feel like lack of money can also buy you some really good experiences in a very unique way. This place was only 80 bucks a night. That beats even a hotel, like a cheap hotel. All right, buddy, let's get out of here. Let's go snowboarding. And I think Kobe's doing schoolwork. You're gonna watch the teacher. Ah. What are you guys doing? Oh, um, so did What does that say? Are y'all feeding the little baby? No. Oh, Josie no, is. No. Capital W. Aww. You gotta erase that man. Dadas! <laughs> yeah, he's Uncle not... Samuel. Yeah, it is. Where is Uncle Samuel? He's snowboarding. He's out there. He's snowboarding. Head snowboarding. Okay, now we're stretching and folding our dough. Wow, that looks good. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I don't think I can do it. Aww. He's my daddy. Oh my gosh, y'all are so cute. She's just gonna sit there now. Push it. Push. Go like this. There you go. Just make a magnet board where you just get magnetic boots. Those strong magnets. That's what you want to do. There you go, bud. Snowboarding is not all that safe. Abram, that's pee, bro. This is a great example of one of the other dangers of snowboarding. You never know when you're going to pick up a bottle of pee. And Abram just made that grave mistake. He's going to be okay, though. Bro, are you okay? Abram, let's go left. Good dropping, bud. It's a big cliff. Okay? Very dangerous. There you go. Nice switch over. Let's get to the edge of this cliff. Whoa. 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 Oh. Almost went off the cliff. Almost died. You guys saved my life. Thank you. This is so dangerous. Oh, wow. Coming, buddy. Uh-oh, it didn't get hit. Oh, they don't collision. Dang it. You guys are right. What happened? She tripped over you? Yeah. Hey, be careful, right? If you fall, you gotta make sure to get to the side. Look at all the falling snow. That's a sign of an imminent avalanche. Come on, bud, we gotta get out of here. Just get the heck out of here. Go ahead of me. That was a really dangerous run. Abram got hit. I almost went off the edge. An avalanche was impending. I'm just thankful to be alive right now. I really am just thankful. Homework time. They're reading. It's 
so sweet. Who are you reading about, Juliet? I'm reading about Sir Isaac Newton. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask you questions when you're done, so pay attention to what you're reading, okay? All right, it's turned out. Look at that, Deb. Wow, that looks good. What do I do now? Wheat. Okay, so you get the scraper right there, and you cut it in half down the middle. There you go. Oh my oh. gosh, look at that. It's a it's little real sticky. sticky. I know. Put flour on top of it when you're done cutting oh, it. I'll show you. Cutting. What's up, party people? What do you say instead of surf's up when you're snowboarding? Cowabunga, not cowabunka. Cowabunga. So. Poor dude. Hey, is that guy okay? What's up? Is that guy okay down there? What? Oh. 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 Those dang cones. Oh, dang it, you guys are right, sorry. Oh, man. My butt was stuck up in here, sorry, dude. No, you're good. I just had to... You oh, I didn't <laughs> No, you're good on that butt. Oh, okay. I'm good. All right, guys, we're at the top of the Rockies. We're gonna have a little snack here. We have established that's not your end. So, buddy, what's been your favorite part about snowboarding? The dangerousness. The dangerousness. I no, agree no. with that. Safety is... Paramount out here, I can't tell you. On our way up this last one, Abram got the tip of his snowboard caught in the snow and nearly swung the thing back, and the bar came down and smacked me right in the head. Thank God for my helmet, man. I wasn't gonna wear a helmet last time I didn't wear one. Just falling down the hill is the dangerous part, right? Yeah, if you like are going down a steep hill and then you fall and you can't control yourself and you just start rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling. There's other things you gotta look out for, like other skiers and snowboarders stopping in front of you. For example, Abram fell down in the middle of the narrow lane. My board kind of got caught under her skis and then she fell. Oh, I see, I okay. That's what makes it so fun though. Like you're this close to losing your life. And it's like, yeah, am I gonna die or not? Yeah. Snowboarding is not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. Sliding down a mountain on your feet. Ah, a Whoa. limb just fell off. You have to look out for falling limbs too. Were you having fun, buddy? Uh-huh. Yeah. These are really good. They are pretty good. Anything else, buddy, before we have to say goodbye? Avalanches. Avalanches, oh yeah. We got this close to an avalanche. You see those little snowballs falling down? Do you know what happens to little snowballs? They turn into big snowballs. It got close, close call. What's your channel called? It's called Sam and Nia. Oh, he's coming, whatever. Did you find it? No, I didn't. Sam and Nia? Sam and Nia. What's your name? Aron. I don't. Yeah. Dude, thanks for keeping me safe up there, bro. Yeah, for sure, man. Nice meeting you. For sure, nice to meet you. See you, man. You're gonna see it for the first time. Your first ever bread. Look out, everyone get out of way. Yeah, it's gonna be hot. Don't touch it. Oh. What do you think? You I like really it? wanna cut into it and eat you it. You can look at your now. cheese over there. You should try to lift that out. Justin, you wanna see Bubby? On the, Sorry. yeah. Ah! Not too close to mine, though. It can't get Bubba, hot yet. Bubba, you wanna see Ava? Sam, how are you feeling? What happened? Oh, 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 that hurt so bad. Did you do that on purpose? No. My board got caught under. Oh. Oh, gosh. You okay? That was the worst one. Oh, my gosh. You okay, though? I think so. Oh, my neck. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my gosh. That is going to be painful tomorrow. Oh, he's outside. Oh, man. Aw. Go get him. I'm glad to see you look okay. Are you going to go down again? Yeah, this is our last run, and then we're leaving. Aw, sorry, guys. That's fun. Hey, Calvin. What's up, dude? Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> He got so shy! Oh my gosh! What are you doing back there? Yeah, you need to zip it. You alright, bro? Is he okay? That guy in front of you, he's moaning. Yeah, he's going, oh, oh. Oh. Okay. 
Watch you. Hey man, wait up. I gotta tell you about the rice method. Less ice compression and elevation. Tell your buddy about the rice method. That was a sick run, wasn't it? Oh man. Oh, 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 oh. My foot. Dragging my board. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yes. This is our last run. It looks like we're one of the last people here. coming hit a cone there's the last person and the park is closed and we're still at the top of the hill I appreciate it. I was there yesterday. Yeah. I feel your pain. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. It's good to not be alone. The cousins went home and my bread is all ready. I warmed up some baked potato soup from Aldi. Yes, I'm trying out the Aldi soup. Whoa. Last round's always the best. Looks like you had a good time, bro. Yep. You got some tan lines going on, you see? Oh, you do too. It's bedtime, the kids are all in bed, and I am getting ready to, big shocker, bake something again. Like, I've gone on Instagram to edit a video for Amazon. I've been doing the Amazon influencer thing. If you're not following me over on Amazon, you should follow us at Sam and Nia. I came across this discard recipe. This is on my discard. I've got a lot of discard. I don't ever get rid of it because I want to be able to give it away. I posted it for sale on Facebook Marketplace. I'm going to let you guys kind of join along, but <laughs> it's a mystery to you in Symphony for right now. <laughs> Jewelry. I don't know. Let's go look. We're gonna check out this little antique store so we can find a gift for Mama. Do you have a sticker on your hat? Yeah. Why, why do people do you, leave those why on? Why do you think you leave them on? I think it's because to keep them so that people still think they look new. I'm not sure what started it. It's a Hispanic thing. Hispanic thing? Yeah. You're in New Mexico. Everybody keeps a sticker on their hat. I mean, it's that's how I'm familiarized with it. Yeah, because you're here. Yeah. Well, we're just going to have a look around. We're looking for a gift for my wife and my daughter, so. Nice. Yeah. Where's the 
Where are the toys at? They're on the other side. Okay, I will go I'm not here to look at toys, but I guess we'll go we look. We need something for Juliet. You do have cool stuff in here. I like these interesting shirts. All right, we're ready to leave. Hey, go put that back. We're oh. not buying it. Oh. How do you open this door? It's like two doors. Is this the door handle? No. Where's the door handle? Look. Lift up and pull. Oh. Manny, nice to meet you, Manny. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for the info about the Spaniards and stuff. It puts things in perspective a little bit. All these different groups don't necessarily identify with each other. Gotcha. Even though they look similar. Right? How can we tell by looking at their face? You can. Some of them have lighter skin. Some of the really old Spanish families around here have blue eyes. Do they speak the same language? Yeah, it's just variations. Dialects of Spanish. It's all Spanish? Yep. Shoot. Yeah, Come you on, too. Man. Take it easy. You too. You guys have a good day. It's a shoot. Stop for gas. I'm gonna go ask him if this pump is out of order. So I don't see any signs on it. Ma'am, is pump one out of order? There's no out of order sign on it. I can't tell. Is it out of order? Now it's back in the oven for 20 more minutes. And then the reveal. <laughs> gotcha. Can you hear me? Yeah. What do you think I'm making? Is it crackers? I'm not telling you. <laughs> we'll see. Hey, your pestle's looking really cool over there. Did you guys notice that in the background? That looks really cool. It's the most look, annoying one. Look, there's four pieces right here, but these four don't even fit in that spot. But they're the right color? Yes. Are you guys figuring out what it is yet by the way it looks and all the steps I took? Comment below if you figured it out before I told you what it was. Look what I made. It's everything but the bagel. Cheez-Its-ish. I know, it was like if you put cheese in it, it'll taste like a Cheez-It. So I know a way to make it a little more Cheez-It-ish. For tonight, this is what I did. Oh, it sounds like a cracker. It's really good. Is it really good? Like what does it taste like? Pizza crust? It kind of does taste like a cheese. It does? But it also tastes like your bread. Okay. This is pretty cool. It really would taste like a cheese it without the everything bagel stuff. This is so weird. I can make a cheese it. That's her favorite snack, you guys. All time favorite snack right now is a cheese it. It's a cheese it. All right, guys, we've, I've had a great day in the kitchen. Did you have a good day? Mm -hmm. How's your pain? I'm sure everyone wants to know. Pretty good. Pretty good? As in you're going to say a seven again? No. I'm like just kidding. <laughs> five or four. She's saying that you want a Motrin? You said five, but you say no to the Motrin. It's not that bad. No. Don't forget, guys.